Our neighbours too, Sorority Rising, you find Mac and Kelly um, at the start of the film discover they're going to have another baby and um, they're selling their house and they're going to move to the suburbs and they're moving on and they're going to get further into their domesticity and, uh, and then lo and behold a sorority moves into the abandoned house next door and they are faced with the, um, the probability they may lose the house they're selling and the house they've bought. Uh, so they're going to lose both houses and go bankrupt. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of the setup. I think we do have a nice shorthand. Yeah, we have like a good intuition with each other, in particular with the characters and their kind of, you know, stupidity <laughs> and stuff. So um, we do, no, we really do have a nice, easy, a very easy chemistry, which is, I think, part of the reason that we wanted to do it again and that it worked the first time. Yeah. Uh, Teddy's um, kind of having a little bit of a early to adolescent midlife crisis type thing, you know, that 25 year old reawakening. I think he's doesn't have it, kind of lost his way. And he, you really see that he's losing his job, he's losing his friendships and he's, yeah, kind of attaches himself in a ridiculous manner to this sorority thinking that that will give him some kind of identity and purpose and, and it weirdly does and it sort of evolves into what he is actually good at at the end but yeah he, he's having a little he's sort of having the crisis that we were having in the first one weirdly I am going to miss the camaraderie that Seth and I have and I love the couple that we've created and that those two like characters on screen I think they're really um, unique and I'm really proud of that and really proud of our, of us and when I saw our first little like um, you know still photography from the film and I saw the characters back together in our little outfits and things I was like made me feel really you know warm I was like there they are there's, there's those characters again they're really cool they were uh, and I th yeah I think people I think people really warm to them so he's very you know aware of the emotional beats of the film and that's something that we talked about early on when we started discussing the sequel um but but yeah at this point it's been like you know he's my comedy like he gave me my break in comedy he trusted me to do to get him to the greek and so for me he's very i really trust him and uh he was the one who sort of has guided that side of me did you know that Dwayne Johnson was Tim Burton's second choice for the role of Willy Wonka in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which went to Johnny Depp? Do they seriously look alike according to Burton? Who do you prefer as an actor, Depp or The Rock? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to click here for more videos. Thanks for watching.